Hello and welcome to another coding homework project. This time it's going to be a C++ project called Animal Crossing Pattern Squares. And here's the objectives. We are to implement multidimensional arrays and have an ad additional interaction with file input and output. Here's the prob problem, which is totally made up, but don't blame me, I didn't make it up. I just came across to it. Uh, anyway, the problem is uh, new to the Animal Crossing series is the chance to design clothing uh, and items for your home. Because of the tedious work involved to design patterns, you are going to write a program that can make the patterns for you. And we are to be, we are to have a multidimensional array uh, 15 by 15. And these are the six patterns that we will be creating. First is the box. Now these are just the uh, smaller images. Obviously, it's, it's going to be 15 by 15 box. The same with the X. The next one uh, we will be creating is a plus pattern. Then we will create a bordered X, which is the box around X, and also bordered plus, which is the box around the plus. So in other words, it will have a box around it. And the last one is checkboard. Now the pattern can be filled in uh, with any character. Um, we will print the array to the file. So we will not display it in the console, but instead we will print all these patterns into a text file. We will be using nested loops, obviously, and we will validate the pattern number. So there's six of them. So if the pattern number is invalid, you will not print the pattern into the file, but instead an error message. Uh, we will use as few variables as possible. We will have some functions and the input is uh, to be from the uh, input.txt and the input uh, will be in a format of a pattern number, then space, and then the field character and a new line. In other words, there will be six patterns, so the pattern number will be, let's say, one, then space, and then fill character, which could be really any character from the keyboard, but we'll be using like plus and x, star, and so forth. So the program will read that, and based on the pattern number and the field character, it will create the appropriate uh, pattern. And the output, I don't know if you can see that, the output is to be written into pattern.dxt and each pattern will be drawn to the file using the specified fill character. So, for example, these are all X's, but it could be a circle, a dot, it could be a letter, let's say P or something, it doesn't matter. We will specify that into our, in our input.dxt and then our program will process it based on the number, let's say uh, number 5 will be bordered plus, uh, in other words we will have a plus with the box around it, with the specified uh, character. Alright, so this is our, these are the requirements, so let's get to work. I'm going to first include some, uh, some libraries that I know I will need. Or that I will think I will need. Uh, the next one will be include input output manipulation and the next one will be obviously we are doing a streams file so fstream fstream and also I think Thing I'm gonna need that because I'm going to because of the pattern of the input file that has the number then space and the uh, actual symbol we will need to kind of uh, split it into the number and the symbol we will have we will read the whole line but we will have to split it based on the uh, on certain pattern which is gonna be the number and a character so we will include ss stream s stream all right so um, 
I'm also gonna use namespace as the, the standard one. All right, so in this video, we will just uh, do like the skeleton of the program. So we will create prototypes, uh, function prototypes. Types. Okay, I forgot the spell. The first one I'm gonna call draw patterns. And this one will simply have uh, the pattern number and the pattern character. And based on that, it will call an appropriate function that draws that particular pattern. So this one will accept an integer for the uh, pattern number and a character of that pattern. Another one uh, will be draw. The first one was draw box. That's the first pattern that we will uh, draw and we will pass the character that we want to use to draw that pattern. Another one was draw X. Again, it takes the character void uh, draw plus, which is the plus symbol. And that's gonna be take a character. The next one was uh, draw, what was it? Border. Border X was the first one. And the la uh, next one was draw border plus. So void draw border plus symbol. Again, it takes the character that we will use. And finally, we have the checkerboard. So draw checker board and again a character all right I'm going to copy paste these and I'm gonna just paste them down here and uh, I'm gonna do a little little stops function stops so this one will take integer and uh, I guess I can just call it uh, pattern number and pattern symbol so pattern number and character will be the pattern symbol and uh, it's the function the next one this one will take the pattern symbol and this one just like that actually i'm gonna just copy paste that because they all will take the pattern symbol So there you go. All right, and these two. And last, oops, is the pattern symbol here. So this is going to be the skeleton of our program all the functions that are part of it and um, in the next video we will start reading the input and processing it actually and drawing the boxes so stick around for the next video take care